There are few people that shall be saved. Not the multitude that says, Lord, Lord, because a lot of people don't want to be on the narrow path. There is a man of God in Nigeria right now. He has churches all over the world. He has over 500 orphans he takes care of. He has schools, hospitals. But do you know what? There are very clear evidences, cases in the law courts of him impregnating some of these orphans. Because the one that is on her right now is, she said she was 18 years old when he first slept with her. With her. They've gone to do DNA tests in Ghana. And the DNA test confirms that he is the owner of the child. The case is in the court right now. And I see men of God coming out to defend his actions. That even if he is his son, one who calls himself a bishop will say, even if he is the father of the child, why is it that if a man of God, uh, if, if, a, if a girl sleeps with uh, an engineer, they don't confess. He does sleep with a doctor, they don't confess. When they sleep with a man of God, they say, I want to confess. You women of God, why don't you close your legs? If you take care of children, why take advantage of them? If you have a hundred people, if you have one thousand people, and you sleep with three to satisfy your urge, is that right? The standard is not us. I'm not saying that the man of God cannot fall into fornication or adultery. That's not what I'm saying. Remember, I just said that for the time I was in Cathedral, if not that God helped me, I would have fallen. I knew it. If you do listen to my messages, you will know I do say you can serve God and stand to the end with your own power. If God doesn't help you, within the twinkle of an eye, you will go to the It is by grace. Why is it that some people can sleep around and they tell you it doesn't mean anything? It matters a lot. The way is still narrow.